problem number 6 from sheet number uh, sheet name engineering course in which you have to construct a, a cycloid by using no cycloidal method in which they have not mentioned the, uh, the name of cycloid you have to uh, understand the circle of 50 mm diameter rolls along a straight line so a circle like this i'll draw it roughly a circle is rolls on this straight line like this and the point p point is on the circumference of uh, one uh, means that circle and you have to trace the path of it so to do so we have to construct a circle first and then next steps so the circle diameter is 50 mm so the radius uh, you have to take as a 2.5 so 25 mm as a radius and construct a circle like this and divide this circle into 12 equal parts so divide this circle into 10 equal parts so first of all uh, make it two lines perpendicular to each other and by using this we can divide this into 12 equal parts 30 degree and 60 degree again 30 degree and 60 degree on this line so once you got all the points you have to join with the origin in both the side so no need to measure it uh, for the second part So you have to divide this into 12 equal parts like this. So this point is your origin O. Now uh, we uh, remember you have to start your numbering in this direction only. If you uh, give name numbering in this direction, the whole meaning of the slipping or the rolling will be different. So be careful with the naming. So let's start with the zero here. So this is number one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So like this you have to write down the names on this direction. Now draw a vertical a horizontal line from the point 12. So it is tangent. This line is a tangent of this circle. Okay. Now the length of this line is pi d. Pi d. In this 3.14 into diameter of the circle is 50 mm. So uh, 3.14 into 50 mm. So uh, the length of this line must be 15.7. 15.7 mm. So this length is pi d. Now you have to divide this into 12 equal parts. To do so, uh, just calculate it. Divide uh, 157 into 12. So it is nearer to 13. Uh, so 13 that means 157 mm. So 13 that means 1.3 mm each. So 1.3 mm each. So divide it. Otherwise, see uh, if you use this like 157 uh, divided by uh, 12. So it is 13.08. You cannot measure this on the scale. So you have to use that method which you have discussed earlier. So draw a line nearer to 30 degree. And the length of this line must be. Uh, divided by 12 very easily so we choose 12 mm we choose 12 mm and divide all uh, whole line into 12 equal parts like this now transfer this 
divisions on our original line this line because see if you divide this circle into eight equal parts then you have to divide this line into eight equal parts so whatever the number you choose to divide this circle you have to divide this line with the same number so you have to draw a lines parallel lines from this like this so you have to join it but i'll not uh, just draw a line at each and every stage i just transfer the point it's not necessary to draw a lines i just transfer the points we are interested in this points so you don't have to draw a line because if you draw a line it looks very messy because th these are not a actual uh, uh, part of the drawing it's just used to construct an ellipse so you just have to transfer the points like this so we have transferred the points now you can erase this as well so it's up to you now give names to them like 1 dash 2 dash and 12 dash now draw horizontal line from the center point the center point is o and the line must be passing from uh, o to 3 like this so this line now transfer or we can say the draw vertical line from each and every part which you draw on a pi d line circumference line like this so this is the center line actually so we are going to transfer all our points on the center line so this center line now if this is a c point because this is a center so this point is a c1 this is c2 c3 likewise these are the center lines okay now construct the horizontal line passing from this 1 and 11 point this 1 and 11 point passing these two points must be passing from each other then uh, this 10 and 2 10 and 2 then 4 and 8 8 and 4 7 and 5 and at the last 6 now construct whole rectangle at the end like this so we have transfer uh, means we have construct the whole lines now measure the radius the radius is 2.5 so you have to measure a radius in your rounder now remember the arc arc method so you have to put your point on c1 as a c1 as a center and radius of the circle is your radius then put a point on the c1 make an arc on the line which is passing from 1 1 to 11 line so this line so you have to transfer the point c1 from 1 now put point on c2 so this is your c2 c2 and you have to make an arc on the line passing from 2 and 10 so which is over here somewhere like this now put likewise you have to follow the rule uh, c3 as a center and line passing from 3 which is on the line this c4 as a center line passing from 4 which is this 5 as a center 5 like this this is 6 this is 7 
11 and you can see the 12 is on the 12th point so this is how you got your points so this point is your p1 p2 you have to write down the names for better understanding and this is p12 now joint all the points with a free hand with a smooth curve something like this and again redraw it with the dark line so this is your cycloid now for normal and tangent mark a point m anywhere on the curve so this point is m radius circle radius as a uh, distance and m as a center and make an arc on this center line so this point is m o let's say now transfer this point to the straight line so this point let's say is a n point now joint n with the m so this is your normal and perpendicular to this gives you tangent so this is cycloid